students welcome to this lecture on uh, how such big infra created the entrepreneur boom in case of uh, in case of cloud computing like uh, we are referring that how cloud computing uh, or the big infra being provided by the aws wherein they can quickly provision services really created a entrepreneur boom uh, in the in the economy so this is a kind of a case study which will really help you that okay will help you to correlate the changes which are happening uh, in long or within your environment so you'll be able to correlate once you start seeing uh, you know news uh, so you'll, you'll, your thinking perspective will change from that perspective so you know before we digging deep just think from a perspective that okay if you need to host a simple website uh, forget about uh, you know that huge infra where you'll be running internal applications so just for holding a simple website let's say if you want to launch an e-commerce site so just think the scenario a uh, 10 year back what what all was required right so we'll take uh, example one by one if you want to host a website what you need uh, So you need a space for that. You need a power, right? You need cooling equipments. You need switches. You need to create VLANs to enter your servers into. You need firewalls to protect them. Storage, servers, uh, hypervisors, OS. You need to install. Then maybe you know, depending on uh, it's IIS or Apache applications, databases, IP addresses, uh, FTP or whatever the protocols you need. You need to you know some DNS servers to do the DNS entries and all those things. So all these things will be required by you, right? Wherein again each and everything is a time consuming activity and a huge capex is is required uh, was required at that point of time to to really uh, build a website so you need to buy a space or you need to rent a space maybe you need to spend on uh, on uh, on power equipment generator and getting an electricity redundant power supply then cooling equipments then you may need switches so all these things were required earlier to host a website right or to have a platform within the organization but really the day when uh, the cloud came into the picture so number of services uh, in terms of infrastructure like power cooling and all those things are taken care by the cloud vendor so it is uh, the responsibility to manage the physical infra with the organization is very less and this is the way the organizations are moving to cloud because the capex or the upfront investment is very less so earlier and now what exactly the difference is so earlier you can see that all the layers from the physical space from networking to storage virtualization application all you as an organizations you were managing or organizations were managing and then on the top of that once the application is running you you are start running your business maybe if it is a e-commerce you can uh, you know start selling the uh, you know things and you can have or earn revenue but now the difference if you'll see that like we haven't seen the different demos that all these layers uh, you know uh, from os to middleware data and all these things uh, you know below the layers virtualization server storage are being taken care by the uh, by the cloud vendors like we have seen that okay we have just clicked on to the type of os uh, window 2012 and then we provisioned that particular os within the within the north virginia region so just imagine that okay the kind of ease it is these days for the for the for the users or for the interpreters to just go ahead and uh, with the few clicks launch servers and then uh, you can install your applications and boom your business is ready let's say within uh, 24 hours or within uh, 10 hours and you can start earning money within very less time so earlier you used to procure the infra right and uh, bidding used to happen in case of traditional environment so traditional it organizations used to take 60 to 90 days to provision an infra and then run the application so huge cost was involved uh, you know labor was involved engineers cost was involved so everything was involved so if you'll calculate that particular cost from a business management perspective there is a huge savings while moving on to the cloud so this is the reason if you look around why uh, 
in last 10 years number of entrepreneurs or number of apps are coming into the picture because deployment of the infra and the investment which is really required to open a certain business is very less because earlier the investment which was required to open up a business in case of IT was was really was really huge you need those uh, people with the skill set where they can provision the infra but in case of cloud it is with a few clicks uh, you can get some training and you can provision the infra on your own right so that is why you can see that so tomato uber ula all these uh, grab all these um, you know vendors all these uh, you can see attenders are coming because and really in order to scale them up like for for zometo and uber to scale up depending on the customers from all over the world so and they can they can take leverage of the cloud infra because they're having the different regions availability zones and really serve the needs across across the globe so this is the difference you can see the why the number of entrepreneurs are coming and uh, because uh, the cost is less uh, provisioning is easy and it is readily uh, readily available and uh, due to features like elastic uh, rapid elasticity measured service all these features are really helping the helping the business owners or the users to use the cloud service and and run the business quickly and you can start earning money from the day one once you are done with your applications and all those things so this was pretty short lecture friends uh, just to correlate it with the changes which are happening in the environment or around us so thank you friends uh, thank you for watching uh, meet you in the next lecture